and all that? Yeah. All right. Make sure you uh, turn off your um, Fratito is is here. Fratito? Fratito, but we're not live again, so he's watching. Oh. There we go. Hello, Fratito. It's good to see you. And Hando. Hi, Hando. What's going on, gentlemen? Or lady. Or ladies. Fratito could be a lady, but I know Hondo's not. Hando. Hondo. What? Oh, no matter what say, what lady would say, say my name, but Beyonce. Say my name, say my name, when no one else is around you. Say, say baby, I, I love, love you. you. Tired of playing games. <laughs> say my name, say my name. Can I get a sound check? Uh, yeah, this is Jay Soundcheck. And uh, don't quit your day job. All right, hold for the on. Singing part. Say, hey, baby, I love, love you. That's okay. loud. Is it? M- maybe it just seems loud to me. It's probably. Are we loud. loud for you guys? Is this loud? Am we'll I, are do I need, do I need, Yeah. Do I need to turn down? If we're loud, let yeah. us know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay, uh, head said we're fine. Okay, dokie. All right. All right. Pouring my French pressed coffee. Okay, hippie. All right, you and your tea. It's Lipton, doesn't count. But it it is done in the kettle. <laughs> you did not microwave it. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, she got the, yeah. Uh, she got the. This, this is uh, the Alliance one. We have the Horde one too. But yep. This is it's, it's about one. to come up to my lips. That's oh, yeah. what she said. Jay, Jay has the Horde one right now. I got them from Craft um, um, Tavern Craft or whatever. They were on sale for nine bucks each, right? Yep. And the and their solid mugs are really nice. Yeah. Ceramic. Ceramic. And the handle is really cool. Here, look. Looks like a hammer, a dwarven oh. hammer. How awesome is that handle? Freaking great. <clears throat> there you go. What is your handle? Is your handle also a... It's a... It's, it's a mall kind of thing. Oh, yeah, okay. it's the... Yeah, it's a wooden mall. Sweet. All right. Uh, uh, okay. You ready? Yes. Where should I put this? I've got taco. In the bottom. Okay. All right, go. Wait a minute. I'm ready to go. Where's that? There it is. I'm at it. I have too many windows open. I guess it's because I was um, looking up brewmaster stuff. Probably. That can go away. There's Valentine cast notes. Excuse me. There's the chat room. I want to see the chat room. What? What are you doing? There we go. I gotta move the notes over here so I'm not looking at my notes all down. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Jay. Yeah, Jay. What are you doing? Here we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, cool. I got two drinks. I do too. All right. There we go. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast. With your sipping couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is Monday, January 28th, 
2013. And this is episode 92. Hi, everybody. And we're not through. Uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. So we're the sipping couple because we both have two drinks. We're I have si- my hot tea. We're sipping on some scissors. And my Alliance uh, big old ceramic mug. Yep, yep, yep. And, and I got my my hoard ceramic mug. And I, and I wasn't finished. And I have some uh, juice in the World of Warcraft cup. Holds a lot of juice. So... Is your World of Warcraft cup the same as my World of Warcraft cup? Mm-mm. See, I have... Nope. This has the, um... It says dude. I don't know who that is. It's a little different. Oh. Okay. Yeah, my uh, co-worker got them for me from California because she's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, we are back. It is just us. There's no there, there's no special guests. No special guests, so sorry. I get Jay all to myself. I don't have to share. Wah. You know, people are like, wah, wah, wah. I'm turning it off now. Don't, you don't have don't, a special guest. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. We got a good show for you. Um, we had a great weekend and everything, and we'll definitely tell you about that. Um, I want to say a quick shout out to Pretty Lights Music at prettylightsmusic.com. Thank you guys for letting us use your music for our intro and outro. Go check them out at prettylightsmusic.com. And I don't know where I was going oh, with that. You looked at me like I was supposed to know. I was like, Yeah, I don't know. So, so for 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 our new listeners that may be out there that that may just have stumbled across us, we want to say welcome to you. Um, we are the Valentine Cast. I'm JJ Valentine, and I'm Nay Nay Valentine. Nay Nay Valentine. <laughs> Renee Valentine. Um, um, we, we are a couple in little K- Kentucky that enjoy geeky things. Food, music, media, and all the great like, stuff that's out there. I'm just wondering, do you plan to say it like every like five five shows, or just just happens? Actually, this just happens. I'm, I'm, we haven't okay. really said it in a while. In a while, I think so. it was like you know, late fall, mm-hmm. maybe early fall since last time we said something like mm-hmm. that. Just kind of introduce ourselves to everybody. And we want to say hello to the chat room. Hi, chat room. What is going on? We got Hando representing everyone Hi, Hando. today. Appreciate you being out there for um, for us and, yep. and hanging with us and stuff. And Fertito was here, but he's not here. But hi, Fertito. I don't know who you are, but I bet you're awesome. Yep, yep. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into a little bit of the... The weekend wrap up. No. Okay. Yeah. Every time I hear those bumpers, it reminds me that you do not want to put yourself well in the bumpers every time. Well, Renee, okay, so you asked for new bumpers. Look, 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 we barely went over this last time. You asked for new bumpers. You didn't say I want new bumpers with Jay only. I thought it was implied. No, it wasn't implied. And, and you were here. You were sitting right across from but me. I thought you were going to make some with you were your sitting, voice. You were sitting right across from me as I was making these bumpers, right? Mm-hmm. Were you not paying attention to what I was doing, spicing Probably them? not. <laughs> See, there you go. That's what happened. I mean, I'm being honest. Probably not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you weren't. Um, that's that's the thing. Uh, and and I can tell that um, you weren't. Okay. But, um, but anyway, you're so <laughs> excited. I am so excited excited so so what are you so excited about i'm so excited because we broke out our sewing machine see what i did there ah, uh-huh. ah, uh-huh. ah. um the day after thanksgiving jay nope. and i thanksgiving I, I just said thanksgiving no you said the day after thanksgiving oh it was on thanksgiving right thanksgiving night <laughs> Walmart was opening early for their Black Friday. For the I mean, Terrible I mean, for Thursday. The terrible Thursday or whatever it's called. <laughs> so we went. Trampling. <laughs> trampling Thursday. <laughs> so we went to Walmart at 8. And we were going to buy a laptop. We were thinking about buying a laptop. Yeah. We were. And uh, we went there and we ended up buying a, um, a shop vac. We bought a shop vac. And we bought a sewing machine. That is correct. And, which is crazy. My mom used to sew uh, when I was a kid, and she was good at it, but I have not sewed. Except for one time, I made an apron for for some class. It was not very good. That's okay. I, I, I would have wore it. <laughs> so, uh, because I need to make a piece of clothing for my costume for Dragon Con. And to buy it would be crazy expensive. So, I bought it, and when we finally broke it out after, it's been like, what? two months yeah roughly two months yep and uh so i wanted to practice you know 
sewing stitches and everything. Mm-hmm. We watched we watched the instructional DVD. That Not us, once, but twice. Cause, twice, because because we needed to know how to you know get it set up. And, right. And we bought. <laughs> we went to these crafts. No. Uh, we went to Joanne's. Joanne's uh, fabrics. Yeah. We bought ten yards of muslin to practice with. We didn't know 10 yards of muslin was so much muslin. That's a lot of muslin. But it's okay because we get our practice. Yep. I am going to make a pillow to start off with. And then we'll go on from there. I'm not going to go for the big thing yet. So um, it was it was nice and calming. I thought it was okay. Like It'd be yep. awesome if I can make something out of nothing. Right, which is, right. Which is why I like to watch Project Runway. Right. So, uh, yeah. So uh, Jay was a sewing machine. He He made... Weird stuff. Yeah, I made um, so I made uh, uh something it was like almost like a pillowcase, mm-hmm. or but it was big enough to put my hand and arm yeah, in it. Yeah, it it was like yeah, just fell um, over his arm. It was an arm bag. Yep, and then I made I did a <laughs> sewing where I sewed almost like in a curve, so I almost made like those little scent pouches. Yeah, the sachet, the sachet, 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 sachets or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Yep. And then you made a baby doll tank top. Yeah. <laughs> With no arms. With no with no arms or baby doll <laughs> he dress. He forgot the arm. Yeah, there was no arm slots. So, so he made a, a little tank top for a baby doll. Yep, with no arms, of course. So if someone... Hey, there are some armless baby dolls out there that, that is really correct. appreciate that. That That is correct. So. I absolutely have to agree with that. So we'll let you know. So I'm breaking it out again this weekend because I really want to get good so I can get this made. Um, so we'll tell you our exploits. Um... So and that's the only thing of note we really did this right, weekend. Right. right. Well, um Hando in the chat room said that they're getting a sewing machine oh, in the spring. Ooh, I hope you like it. Yeah. Like, like at first I was scared I was gonna sew my finger because I've seen that happen on Project Runway and it did not look it looked very painful. It did not look nice at all. But I just go slow. Yep, go slow. And uh and then I speed up as I get more comfortable. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah. I always start off slow. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, it, it's cool. I really enjoyed it and everything, and and you know, breaking it out and and everything else we did this weekend is gonna be covered in different areas. Yeah, you know, it's gonna yeah. be covered in you know media and food mainly. You know, that's yeah, what that's the only thing we did like way different. Right, right, right. So, um, I guess you wanna go ahead and talk about a little bit of ooh, what tech, 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 technology. So. I don't know. I don't know why I put this in two places. I so think, I think because you saw the fancy prop, the fancy sewing machine with all the buttons. Oh yeah. So uh, we got the sewing machine, and we went to the library this past week mm-hmm. to get books about sewing. We did. Um, we got the Idiot's Guide to Sewing. Yep. And a hundred things to do with your first showing sewing machine. And that one was crazy. Yeah. We open it up, and we see this the fanciest sewing machine I've ever seen. I didn't even know they made sewing, sewing machines like this. It was digital with buttons, like like all these different buttons, and it was, it I, was I quite think, pretty. I think what they did with that one, I think they they just took the dials on arm sewing machine and they replaced them with buttons. Yeah, but it's digital. It looks more modern. That, that light up. Yeah, they light up. You can sew in the dark. <laughs> sew in the dark. <laughs> so uh, that book isn't so great because it doesn't really teach you how to sew. It just gives 100 projects or something like that. But right. a lot of them are old fuddy-duddy. There's a lot of curtains, sh- shower curtains, pillows, stuff like that. So, But the Idiot's Guide to Sewing is really good. It uh, teaches you about all the notions that mm-hmm. you need, which is you know zippers and, and, and snaps and... All that, and it teaches you vocabulary, yep. which is good. Yeah. So I read some of that. Yeah. And uh, so I'm a, that's really helpful. But uh, so yeah, there's tech. I talked about our sewing machine twice. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Do you have any tech? I don't. I actually I do not. So I mean, it's just it was a techless, um, a techless weekend week for me. It was. Me too. You know. No tech. So. Media, movies, books, comics, TV. So yeah, yeah, that's a little long. We're gonna we what? The short. I like that one. Just it's, it's it's a little long. I don't think that's long. Okay, 
So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we are we are speeding right along. This is gonna be a twenty minute show. Well, I don't know. I mean, it could be. Um, it could not be. I'm I'm really trying to get your levels right. Oh what? <laughs> I, I thought you already got me right. I did something weird. I didn't happened. change. No, you did not. Um, I heard you. No, I was going to talk, but then I was like, No, go ahead. No, say it, say it. Say it. Hando said that he started Walking Dead this oh, week. I'm assuming he's talking game. about the video game. The, the video game or the, or the show, but I'm assuming show. it's the video game. And I'm assuming it's the good video game because there are some bad ones out there, actually. And we'll say hello to Tiffany403. Hi, Tiffany403. In the chat room. In the chat room, thanks for so, uh, swinging by. He yeah, started I hope the show. you like it, Honda. Oh, the show. Yeah. Uh, you can probably just skip over season two. Yep. No. Watch season two, but it's not as important. So It's not as important. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so, um, except for that one moment. Um, so, this week, uh, no, last week, the movie we rolled for was The Double. And Starring Richard Gere mm-hmm. and Topher Grace. I keep wanting to call him Tofu. Tofu Grace. I, I would call him Tofi. Tofi. Tofi works. That's a cute name. So basically the show was about this, uh, yeah, uh, this guy trying to find a killer. Right. And. And the name Double has something to, to do, do with the whole. With the whole movie. Okay. But <laughs> this movie has a twist. And then it has another twist on top of that twist. And right. I'm cool with having one twist, but when you start piling twists on each other, yep. I don't like that. It makes, like, come on, really? Really? So I have really? to ask, while I'm sitting here getting ready to, you know, tell it, tell us what you're going to roll and stuff. Mm-hmm. Somebody's been watching Seeking Justice. Who, who's been watching? It's not me. Some, somebody watched Seeking Justice. No. Did you add it to the queue? Uh, what is Seeking? I don't even know what that it's is. It's with Nicolas Cage. Seeking Justice. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I haven't been watching anything. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, okay. I don't remember adding it to the queue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you added that. I did not add that. <laughs> but I didn't add that. Somebody, somebody tried to watch it. Do you, do you, does anybody have our login for our Netflix? No. It said someone watched this on 126. <laughs> It was definitely wasn't me. Maybe you didn't finish watching it. Or maybe you, maybe you added it. I did not add it. I swear. Huh. It was not me. So why is that on our queue? Oh. You added it, didn't I, you? Nope. I did not add it. I know what happened. We got through watching Double mm-hmm. and I accidentally started it. Oh. So you know what? Instant queue. Did you put it on the queue? I'm going to since. Oh, that's Nicolas must be, Cage. <laughs> what, what's going on? What? Netflix is broken. No. Well, I guess we can't do a movie for next week. Seeking, I get to watch whatever I want. Let's see. Let me, seeking Justice, Instant Q. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, okay. are you ready for me to roll? Yes. To yes, ma'am. What, to see what um, wonderfulness Ooh. I'm going to get. I'm going to add this one, too. <laughs> Superman. See, see, guys, this is why our Q never goes down. Superman and Shazam, the return of Black Adam. Why not? That's As opposed to Asian Adam or White Adam. I know. That's horrible. It's horrible. And you said you like Batman, right? Mm, yeah, in certain instances. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll add that one too. Even though he's very tropey. Oh, my parents were killed. I'm going to oh grow up. Have you seen the Ultimate Avenger movie? Uh, no. I'm going to grow up okay. and be a fighting person who no one knows who I am. Uh, even yep. though I talk like this and no one else talks like this but me. <laughs> 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 and what do you have? And, and I have a wart on my nose. But, of course, no one notices that. Yes. Yeah, it's I like, when I was watching that, I was like, how, how can you not know this is Batman? He has a wart in the exact same place as Bruce Wayne. Okay. If you're gonna be a crime fighter, get any distinguishing marks take off took took in taken off of your face. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right. So, All right, so that's my advice for those who wanna grow up and be crime fighting heroes. While you're doing that, I'm gonna update the Let's see if I get a low or high number, because that's always what happens. We went from forever lazy to sipping. <laughs> it's a high number. One eighty three. 
Okay. So How many do we have in our queue? So it's going to be the last one I just added. <laughs> okay, I got to roll again. All right, so here's here's my question. <laughs> so Do the one before it's that. It's either going to oh. be Deep Impact if we did that one. <laughs> so... <laughs> because that was the that was the that was the last one right before I added Seeking Justice, Justice League, and Ultimate Avengers. Well, this is our podcast, so we can cheat. So, so we're gonna do deep. So okay. I mean, deep impact. I'm gonna do Deep Impact, but I'm okay. also gonna push up Ultimate Avengers as well. Okay? okay, but Deep Deep Impact is the movie, and that's we are to watch, and that's. Uh, and that's about the tsunami or something, right? That is the, the Armageddon world. ripoff. Okay. <laughs> the I one, thought it was the other way around. The one. Which one came out first? They both came out in the same year. Which one came out in the month? The I mean, I, I guess we would have to see when did production begin is, is the big thing. But they both came out the same year. This is, this is the year that movies that came out were almost similar to each other. Um, Deep Impact is similar to Armageddon. Armageddon is the better movie, according to Rotten Tomato, by the fans. But by the critics, Deep Impact is the better movie. Mm. And I can tell you now, by um, our our resident Canadian, <laughs> Bronco, yeah. he says that those in Canada prefer Deep Impact more so than Armageddon because... Armageddon has so many American flags. It's so American driven. And I didn't realize that Canadians were so anti American. Now, maybe a lot of Americans also prefer Deep Impact. You don't know if they do or not. Maybe you're just assuming so, because so, you like Armageddon more. Well, mostly everybody I asked, Armageddon How many is the you one ask? is the one that's remembered How many most. People? Scott and them on Deep Impact Scott of Final Score. <laughs> Said they okay. preferred Armageddon over Deep Impact. All three on Final Score. All four. All four. The, I mean, all four on um. um uh, uh, <laughs> film sack. Yes, film sack. Yes, they all preferred it. Uh, that, that's just four people. That is not a very good cross section of America. That is an extremely well cross section of America. There's I no mean, black people. You have there's no Asian people. Brian there's Dun no Indian people. We well, have a Jew. There's on no there Native American as a Jewish. Oh, he doesn't there. count. And he already said he doesn't count. Yes, he even said yeah, that. he does count. And Scott has a Korean brother. That doesn't I I that, don't see how that's relevant. That's very relevant because <laughs> he gets to talk about, you know, about those folks. So anyway, so yeah, and so then but I think Scott also Talks to me regularly. Yes. And, no, no, he, and he's not black by association. So that, hey, Kim. Kim, best Kim. Kim but he, but is part black. Kim, well, technically, she everybody is. in America is pretty much part black. If you want to get technical with it, I'm just saying. Probably. No, I, be, that's not I bet you. you that's not eighty. So ninety percent so, of Americans have some African American. So what you're that's saying what then? Interesting. You are saying. Way. Since you said there's no black people represented, there's no Native Americans represented, but now you're saying there are because everybody has that. No. So, yes. Just just because you have African American ancestry does not make you African American. We watched that's that not, documentary. You remember not, that that's documentary? Not, that's not what what we're saying. I was just telling you that these people were represented. No, he's not. <laughs> these we are represented. So <laughs> anyway, so I think that you're gonna watch Deep Impact and you're gonna change your mind. I will not. How do you know? I will not you change cannot. my mind. When was the last time you saw Deep Impact? 1998. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Yeah. I, I was like 19. Wow. Elijah Wood is in Deep Impact. <laughs> How crazy is that? 1998, huh? Uh, Elijah Wood in 1998. But, so we got Deep Impact. So, um, Renee already... Um, we already talked to you about um, Double, watching that movie. Yeah, talked about Double. And then, um, so, we went to go on Saturday. We also went to go see Les Mis. Um, if you listened to the last show, you know we talked about, um, with Reggie and Dana, about me going to see Les Mis. And that they suggested, highly suggested that I go see it. You know, drop my worries and go see it that yeah. it, i will be impacted why were you worried let's let's say why well, how, why but, you were worried because you know um russell crowe 
mm-hmm. um, was playing one of the was playing the villain. And what are your thoughts on Russell Crowe? Um, Russell Crowe is a very good actor. <laughs> because you know, because he, he can a act. Track record. Gladiator, Gladiator, Gladiator. He can act, no doubt. Um, but with Les Mis, it was musical. But how did you know that he would that you would doubt him as opposed to some? Because I, I I knew he couldn't sing. How how do you know? Because unlike you, Renee, who thinks every person that is an actor or actress, you think they can sing. That's not true. I, no, I, I oh, said oh, I'm just. Come on. No, no, no. no. Man, I what said, did you say? I said I'm surprised by how many people who act can also sing. I did not say everybody who acts can sing because that's. That, Obviously not true. That's, you said the majority of people that act can probably Oh, sing. there you go. I did not say all. Majority? What, what, so, but but he's not in the majority, is he? Whatever. Renee. He's in the minority. Whatever. It, whatever. it only needs to be 50. You, you said, I 50. feel like I'm arguing with your dad right now. <laughs> it only needs to be 51% to be the majority. I really feel like I'm so, arguing with your dad. I think because I'm right. I, I, because I know, if you see all the actors in that movie, one of them had trouble seeing. So... You but know, that's what I'm saying. Do the math right there. But that's enough to take you out of the movie. It could take you out. Eh, it could take you out if someone. Really? There's a major part of the of the show. Every time they get up to sing, you're kind of like. <sighs> I think you're taking it too serious. But okay, I mean, you, hey, you listen to a podcast before. If there's four people on there, and one if one person's hot, it takes you out of the podcast. <sighs> I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. When I say hot, I'm talking about so, them being extremely loud. Russell Crowe, he, it's not like he cannot hold a tune. He can. And he sings okay. Okay. But he sings about as okay as Jay does. Um, and he cannot hold his own. And I know you was trying to throw off on me, but that's okay. No, I'm serious. Sure. You can sing better than I can. So. No, you're trying to throw off on me. It's fine. Why would I do that? Because you're Renee. <laughs> Uh, but he can't hold his own against uh, everybody else. And I will say I was ex- ex- exceptionally surprised by um, Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know that he had previous training. And and like I said, you know, I was so, you know, I didn't know who was going to be in Les Mis because I just didn't want to go see it. Um, but Hugh Jackman did an awesome Awesome, awesome job. Amazing. And you know, at the beginning of the show, at the beginning of the movie of Les Mis, when they were, you know, pulling the boat in, mm-hmm. you know who he looked like and reminded me of? Who? Mr. Brian Dunaway. Uh, you know, he had that that face and that uh, beard going yeah, on. He has a big beard, I think. Like yeah. That. Yep. Yeah, but, he does. Uh, hmm. Um, okay. But, but Hugh Jackman did an awesome job you know yeah he did great but everyone else totally made up for russell crowe you know and russell crowe did a great job in acting like i said you know he made me not like him um which is what he's supposed to do and i mean um all all in all i I was pleasantly surprised and i was pleasantly pleased and I do not regret going. So thank you, Reggie and Dana. Thank you for urging him. Yeah, for urging me. You know, and and it was fine. It was fine. I, I, and the only thing, and I will say this. There was one part of the movie that helped Russell Crowe out. Which is? The part that helped Russell Crowe out was the rude elderly woman. That was sitting a row behind us oh my gosh. with her store brought Fig Newtons and rustling the rapper for the first 15, 15 minutes. minutes of the show. Like it was loud. It was it was. That's that's what I heard behind me. So Constantly. let's see while I'm talking. This is what we heard. Where every time that we would, you know, we're sitting there listening to everything, just the rustling of the rapper and just so, like it's getting on your nerves yeah. right now <laughs> i couldn't even a- i couldn't even get into the first 15 minutes because this was happening and i would turn around and look at her and say and i said ma'am can you stop please and she actually like she didn't see me right okay 
in this movie theater, you can see when somebody turns around and looks up at you because yeah. the stadium seating. I mean, right. I, I mean you, you, you're going to see them. And finally, I had to yell. I was like, ma'am. Renee you said, stop? ma'am, and she waved her hand like, cause, huge. Because I had to, like, wave at her for her to see me. It was, was almost like, like Renee was swinging at her. It was so <laughs> It was <laughs> great. It was so rude. I'm like, do you not realize how loud you're being? Uh, I know. Oh, so upset. And so I will say that rude elderly woman helped Russell Crowe out. I love that you called her elderly like that. Well, she was old. I know, but what's that got to do with anything? Because I, that's how I want to describe her. Okay. I didn't want to say, I mean, well, she had, fine. She, had, she had She had gray hair. I didn't look at her like that. Okay. Was she, doing, was she sitting outside the restroom when we came came out? Was that you know, the, I don't even know. I think that was them. But Probably. I should have got up in her face. Lady, but, what the heck you doing with your Fig Newtons? Because you know you bought them from somewhere else. And there's a reason that movie theaters don't. Well, here's my thing. Packages. Here's my thing. I don't have a problem with people bringing in food outside the theater at oh, all. Of course not. I mean, I I've have no taken, problem with that at all. I've taken McDonald's into a movie theater. I haven't, but I've taken many, many things, especially in the winter. And here's the key: don't either take it out during the credits. I mean, not. I mean, during the trailers mm-hmm. to get it ready to eat. Or before you come, put it in some kind of container that you can snap open or something like that. That, that, that is not loud. Right. Not, right. Don't like do a lock and lock. That's not a good idea. Well, a lock and lock's fine. It's loud. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, if you close it back down. So if I go, you know. It would take me out of the movie. But it'd be like, it's not like I'm going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to close it back. And I love how we're in this debate. Anyway, but, so 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 yes, I agree with Jay on this. Uh oh. When? Uh oh. Oh. Sorry, I thought something serious was, was happening. Oh, sorry. Um. um no, so I yeah. My so, speakers. So, Les Mis, and we also Jay also ordered the 25th anniversary of Les Mis. Right. Uh, I, I did it last you, show. Reggie suggest. Oh, you did it in the middle of the show. Yeah, I did in the middle of the show. Okay, never mind. Well, it got here. Yep, it got here, and so I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Good. I didn't, I didn't have to watch to. it. And even in that one, from what everyone says, you have to look past Nick Jonas in that one. Okay. Even even Kim said that when you when you mentioned it to her. So, you know, I have to. I will say. Um, to Kim, who won't ever hear, who this. won't ever listen to this, that um, for doubting your taste in Les Mis, I will say, I ask for your forgiveness. Wow! So she will never hear this. So. Jay, J- <laughs> that's where you can apologize. Yep. Jay is a Les Mis snob if I ever saw I, one. Well, you know what? I mean, I was there's just certain things I'm about like that. I mean, there are certain there are musicals that I'm out like that, and you see how I am. When we go see a mm-hmm. drum corps. Oh. When we go see a drum corps. He, he is criticizing everybody. Oh, yeah. For real. Yep. So, I mean, I, I mean, that, this is how I am. I mean, you have your things that you're like that about, too. So. Like what? Um, let me try to think. There was, oh, hold on. Mm. I have, You have to come back to me, but there's mm-hmm. some things that you are on. Come back around. Yep. So, uh, I wanted to talk briefly about. A show that I love, Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. You that, the, okay, just before we say this. I'm not going to do any spoilers. There are going to be no spoilers on the show. <laughs> I was going to let our listeners know, but <laughs> Renee decided to go ahead and cut me <laughs> off because she thought that I was going to tell her, no spoilers, Renee. But no, I'm telling our listeners that we do not do spoilers. See, for the new people that listen to us, we do not do spoilers on the show. We don't. So, anyway. Never. Go ahead. Never. Downton Abbey, the craziest crap happened on Downton. It was, Downton this season is rocking my socks. It is, it is every, every episode, crap happens. And you can't say that about every show of a different series. Like Walking Dead. Like Walking Dead. There, (laughs) there are some shows where nothing happens in Walking Dead. Right. Downton Abbey said nope, and and it doesn't seem like 
too much kind of it's it's weird there's constantly things happening but it doesn't seem like too much and you know the one thing that i really enjoy about downton abbey mm-hmm. is that it's enough one of the things that i did not like about game of thrones game of thrones is good right but they threw so much at you mm-hmm. the hour felt like 30 minutes does that make sense yes the hour felt like 30 minutes, and by the time the hour was up, you was like, crap, what what, what happened? You know, so that's one of the things, but I have to, but we, I have to understand, too, the difference between Downton Abbey and Game of Thrones is that there are so many storylines in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. When is Game of Thrones coming back on? Mm, probably, um, it's been gone for a while. May, I mm. think. March, May. So yeah, I totally agree with you. you yeah. Know, they like they have there's so much stuff in the books so that stuff everything in, they still leave things out. So Right. I would right. rather them I don't know, be tasteful about cutting things out. Right. right. But I uh, so Downton, a bomb dropped and I'm just gonna say, go watch it. If you haven't watched it, boom. Yep. Went the room. <laughs> um so on the way home we did something um that we haven't done in probably like almost a year. Right. Um I was, no, go ahead. I was going to tell how go we ahead. got to there. Go ahead. Um, so on Twitter, uh, I was about to go home, and I briefly glanced at Twitter, and I saw Scott uh, tweet that there's this game that's sold out everywhere, and it's super hard to find, and because he was thinking about getting it, and he, and he couldn't find it anywhere. So I was like, what is this game? And it's called Nino Kuni. I hope I'm saying it right. And I was like, I've never heard of this game. Why is it sold out? Like, even big big name titles don't get sold out. Right. I was like, what the heck is this? So we called GameStop. We, no, we decided to go and buy it yep. on a whim. Which Just on a whim. Yeah. We like, haven't, haven't done Jay, that in a year. Jay is the one that said, you know what? Let's go buy it. Let's do something adventurous. Let's go spend <laughs> $60 on a release uh, day game. I know. Or is it, I think Did it's, it come out today? Um, Nino Cooney in video games. Reminds me of Nano Um, this came out. I know, I know. Um, oh, sixty dollars. I never, I hardly ever, except for Wow, pay sixty dollars. Wow, they're even sold out on Amazon. Amazon. What? One to three weeks. What? So, uh, we were amazed. Cause like, what game is getting? You know, this kind of press. And right, uh, right. we went in there. You know, well, but the first GameStop we called sold out. Mm-hmm. And the second GameStop had two copies. Right. So we held one and we got there. And I looked at the back of the box. Mm-hmm. And it's like the prettiest anime style. Um, it looks like Spirited Away or House Moving Castle, that kind of anime. It was right. so pretty. And I was like, I've never played a game with that kind of art style. So I'm really excited about it because it's a role-playing game, and I love role-playing. Um, so, yeah, we have Nino Kuni, and I will end up, we're actually going to play after the podcast. Yep, it came out that. on the 22nd um, in okay, North so America. Oh, okay, so it's been out for like a week. Yep, yep. It's been, a, it's been out in Japan since 2011. <laughs> wow. And then... Europe is Europe is um, here on the first, so so yeah, so we're going, we're definitely going to um, check it out and and um, and play it. Yep, and I, we'll I'm tell a, you how it is. I'm a, I'm excited to to see it. I mean, it looks. I'm looking at some pictures now, and it looks it looks great. <laughs> I'm excited to play. Yeah, I'm excited as well. We can, um, to watch. We can just end the podcast right now. See you, folks. Bye. <laughs> I'm go play. All right. So, and then also this weekend um, in gaming and stuff like that, I did play another chapter in Halo. Right. And I didn't ask you how do you like it. Are um, you? I enjoyed it. It was the part where uh, I have to go save um, the colonel out of the ship. So I haven't played in like ten years or something crazy. Right. So. <laughs> so. Um, but I did find out something. So I'm playing Halo, the original one, but it's the one that was redone by 343. Mm-hmm. Um, that's done for 1080p and they re, you know, new graphics and everything. And I found out if I press the select key, it reverses it back to the old Halo. Oh my gosh, really? Is it horrible? Yeah, I have, I have to I watch mean, you do that one. <laughs> I was like, wow. 
they really so i spent a lot of my time then flipping back and forth just to see the difference just to see the difference i bet it's huge and i'm scared now because halo 2 or 3 hasn't been redone so you're gonna go back to ugh, so i'm scared so i'm like scared that. i'm scared now that you're scared i'm scared i would be scared too when I, when I play two, I'm gonna be like, yep, the art style is gonna be a step down. I'm, I want, I want, I want to jump straight to four. But, but I think if <laughs> you can, if you want, but I think if you get the story down, like if you get in the story, you'll be okay. Right, right. So, and and then um, we did something that we we've <laughs> we've been <laughs> we've been playing to October do this October of 2010. We've been playing to do this since October 2010. <laughs> That's um, and this is how much. You can tell that we didn't like Cataclysm, or I didn't like Cataclysm. Mm -hmm. um, there was a sale back in 2010 where you can get the battle chest for like five bucks. And we were going to do a refer a friend, and we were saving it for the next expansion, which would have been Cata. Mm -hmm. um, Cata came out, and we were, I just poo-pooed it. So we decided. You said I just pooped. I did. <laughs> we decided this past week. That we will finally cash in. A refer a friend. A refer a friend. Correct. And so I am rolling my second monk mm -hmm. along with you doing a mage. Correct. And we're also playing two other characters on a different server that mm -hmm. are our alliance. Yep. Um, just to try out alliance side stuff. Right. And we... um. <laughs> We are blazing in levels. We're like 32 on one and like 40-something on yeah, the other. Yeah, we just hit like 40-something on the nuts. other. Of course, on the ones that are 40 is the server where we have the most support with from our other characters. Yeah, that's true. And I have to say, rolling on a new server with Refer Friend makes it tight. Makes tight. getting gear tight. I like know, that, but... You know me. I like that. Right. I like that, too. I like too. the raw start. And I have to say, I do also like the changes that they made to tanking. Right. Because on a whim, I changed from a healing spec to a taking spec. And it was flawless, right? It was almost flawless. Nice. You know, and I'm, I'm kind of glad they made some of those changes they did. I kind of... I Right now, I would be a failed tank if it was back the way it was right. back in Wrath. So, yeah. So, I'm loving WoW. Mm -hmm. I love to level. I like the pull yourself up by the bootstraps method. Yep. Uh, and but I like where I can send bags to myself as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I that's mean, nice too. I mean, it's just a cool, it's just the stuff where yeah. I would like to have four 14 slot bags. Yeah. yeah. And, you know? and the favorite part of WoW for me is the levels like one to like 40 or one to 50. Right. Actually one to 80 are my favorites. <laughs> and then once I hit 80, then I'm like, meh. And I, <laughs> I don't want to go to start another one. Right. Even though I like in-game. Right. Uh, pet battles this week. Uh, I did finish up um, the uh, uh, spawn of uh, of Onyxia. 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 Death Swallow Marsh. Mm -hmm. I got my rare. And what level, what level are your teams up to now? Uh, see, my team's up to like uh, 12, 13, and 14 around there. Okay. Um. So now I'm in uh, Thousand Needles to get a Twilight Iguana. Twilight Iguana. I want that. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, t Twilight Iguana. So, uh, and, yeah. Yeah, and then um, on our Refer Friends tunes, we did get to run a dungeon with uh, with Miz. I'm one of our Hi, listeners Miz. and friends. Love Miz. Um, it, was, it was fun running with I you. I know. And you did a great job as Tank. Yeah, and, and, and the cool thing was that she was in like half rit gear when she was um when she was um healing me. And there's no problems at all. Uh uh. That's uh -uh. crazy. So yeah, so thanks, Miz. It was super fun. I'll run with you anytime. Yep. yep. And I surprised Jay today. I surprised Jay today. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Renee, so, so this morning I was yeah. at work and then um, I, I saw an email come in mm -hmm. from Steam and said, someone gifted you a game of Sleeping Dogs. And I was like, what is this game? Who who gifted me this? And it was Renee. Yay. And I was like, what's going on? I was like, why did you buy me this game? And he was like, it was on sale. <laughs> so if you missed the sale, I'm sorry. Is, is it still going on? No, nah, it was three. Oh, well, it may be. Um, it's. I know it's in the last hour if it's not. If it, I mean, if it is on sale. 
It's in the last hour. Oh, okay. Um, but you can get Sleeping Dogs for $9.99. And I was like, I can't pass that up. And I can't believe that we hadn't seen it. Right. So we got um, so we got Sleeping Dogs. And I am looking now. And it is it is off sale. Oh. So, sorry, guys. Sorry. I tweeted it out this morning. So. I mean, it's, it's down to $29.99 but now. But still, but. We got, but, but we got it for nine ninety nine. Nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and I, I don't think it's gonna get any lower than that for a long, long time. So I was yep. happy with my p- purchase and surprise because I don't get to surprise him that much. So that was really nice. And he took forever to check his email. I was like, we need to go check his email. Right. He's gonna check his freaking email. Right, right. And so I finally did, and it was, you know, I was just a little busy at work and I had meetings and whatnot. So I predict I will not play that game at least for another year, probably. <laughs> Too many games. Yep. And speaking of another game that I'm probably not going to play for a while. <laughs> the Secret <laughs> World. It was on sale. It was on sale. Much? It was on sale at EA for 10 bucks. I like $10 games. So, I mean, it's free to play. It's an MMO. And some people saying just the story, the story behind it's pretty good. Yeah, like some people play it as a single player. Right. Kind of thing. So... So we'll get, be able to play that together. Um, it's by Funcom, you know, one of the creators of um, I think they did um, um, Con- what's that Conan one? Was it Conan? Conan the Barbarian. No, Conan was it the Conan game. Um, mm. anyway, but they also did Anarchy Online. That was one of that was oh. my sci-fi MMO that I played back in the day with good old Bryce and stuff. So. Maybe we'll make characters this weekend and play like the first level or two. I heard it's like a 25, 25 gig download. So it Ugh. downloaded. It. And then I'm I've not, been I'm, told I'm not playing that. I've been told that then there's the patch. You know. Mm, you know what? We'll wait. That's a pretty you know, good game. I don't want to put it on my on you know. PC. And, and then, then Oh, Jinx. Give me a Coke. Okay, I'll, I'll get you one <laughs> later. I didn't know about the Coke thing until I was older. It's funny. Yep. Um, I uh, dove into playing Bioshock. I think I played some. Before yeah, you played week. some before. But then I played a lot this past weekend. Um, super fun. I'm still not out of the first, you know, I'm still in the hospital area. So I haven't played a ton, ton. But I like it. And it gets my blood pumping. Yeah. Because I look around every corner and I totally expect somebody to be there every time. Yep. So, so, so it gets my blood pumping. But I like it. I'm having fun. Uh, I mean, I'm interested to see what happens. So there's Bioshock. I think there's yep. th- three of those I have to play. So. Yeah, and and um, actually there's two, and then there's Infinite. And that's, that's coming, coming out, out in March. Um, I also played a little bit of Bioshock. I didn't get as much time as you did. Um, I got about 30 minutes in before Downton, and I'm I'm getting used to the whole you know single player, first person shooter RPG thing. You know, but you know I have to. I had to totally get used to it. I mean, I played Halo, played that, and then you also played a little bit of lore, um, Tomb Raider too, didn't you? Oh, I played more Tomb Raider, and I played a ton. I got through two levels of Tomb Raider, actually. Oh, nice. So I think I'm getting close to the end. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh-oh. Are you getting uh, sad? Uh, no, I'm good because of that. I have other Tomb Raider games. Yeah. To play. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's all. So we, so most of our media was games this week. The fridge is not prepared. Uh, and we're boom. into one of the, boom, boom. <laughs> that's that's I hate that commercial. The so subway commercial. Have, have, I have to say, there's a new. There are two. There are two commercials that have my attention now. Mm-hmm. The I'm gonna give you the bad one first. Okay. It's the subway commercial. Well, I can't remember what they're talking about, but at the end of it, they got the black guy. Throwing his hands up and going boom <laughs> to the sub. <laughs> that freaking commercial. I hate that one. Grates my freaking nerves. I said freaking. Yes, okay, you did. Okay. Um, Still PG. But I'm telling you, it drives me nuts. And I just want to walk up to that guy and just punch him in the face. <laughs> And you ask, why do I have to describe the guy as a black guy? Because okay, this time. It's but, relevant. Yes. I mean, it's relevant because he's, he's doing the stereotypical boom. Yeah, like, yeah, brother. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? 
boom shakalaka. <laughs> that- I'm like, come on, <laughs> man. So what's the one you love? And the and you like this one too. I do. It's funny. And then it's there's the Booking. dot com commercial that is booking hilarious. <laughs> so I didn't like. I don't feel like I'm supposed to like it, but I really like it. It's just done great. Yeah, it's great. Um, they they use booking for uh subbed in for the explicit explicit word that the yep. other word. Yep. Uh, so and this is so it is so booking great, and you did such a booking great job. Booking job. Look at that view. Look, Look at, that at that booking, booking view. So <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. We always laugh every time we see it. So, so I say all that to um, how did I even get on the whole commercial thing? Because I said boom. Oh yeah, boom. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so. Weight loss update week 30 for Renee and I. Um, I lost 1.8 pounds for a total of 74.8. And Renee, you lost 2.2 pounds for a grand total of 75.6. Uh, uh, what? Uh, mm. So for this week, we lost a total of 4 pounds. Mm -hmm. Grand total, 150.4 pounds. 150 pounds. We got, we we have lost the weight that I want to be. Woo! Woo! So, way to go, <laughs> Team Valentine. Thanks, Tiffany. Uh-huh. She said, very good job. I know. I, I saw that. Thanks. Thank you. Brush my shoulders <laughs> off. And then, um... I didn't do frog pants. Okay. That's fine. Because I failed. You have tomorrow. Yeah. To do it. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and then Renee made a new recipe this weekend that was amazing. A little, little on the spicy side. It was good. Little. So, it was awesome, though. Yeah, that's his kind of thing. It's spicy Southwest. I added the spicy part. Uh, Southwest chicken black bean soup. Oh, you did add the spicy part? Yeah, it, do, it doesn't say spicy on the recipe, but I added it. Uh, it's really good. Like, you just throw a whole bunch of crap in a crock pot, and it's ready eight hours later on low. Or I could have done four hours on high, but I would. But I wanted the slow cook okay. of that, so all the stuff would blend. And it was really good. It was a little spicy. So next, Jay likes it. So I don't know. I have to figure out a good medium between his really spicy and mine yep. not so spicy. Um, so, yeah. So there's no soup for tomorrow, too, because I'm just going to of so, so are we going to have... Um so, so I don't know what we're eating tomorrow. Oh, oh, I was going to make the casserole tomorrow. Okay. So make sure you eat a snack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're talking about little mundane stuff on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I mean, so I yeah. I'm have some wings tomorrow. Yeah, I don't so, know. We'll see. And uh, this is recent today, matter of fact. Uh, there's some drama in the taco world. Oh, Louisville. yeah. Oh, yeah. Some drama going on in the taco world. So um, as you all have come to know one of the things about Louisville um, is that Louisville is a town that is proud to about keeping it weird you know right um, they like to they like to be local they like local stuff they like um, being um, they want an 86 64 mm -hmm. so they want to kill the interstate the interstate is killing <laughs> the city's revenue of local businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, but there is a restaurant here called Taco Punk. Now, I can't remember if we talked to you all about Taco Punk. Yeah, we went a while ago. And it, and was, it was it's expensive. It's good. It's and, expensive, though, so that's why we haven't gone back. Cause yes, it's and overrated. Not worth it. But what Taco Punk did, they're in the new hipster area that we've yes. talked about, which new is Lou. New Lou, N-U-L-U, and they're in this section of town. And they have started a Kickstarter. Um, $20,000 goal. For a $20,000 goal. And they started a Kickstarter. And the Keep Louisville Weird People oh, man. have flown through the roof. Because they are like, if you're trying to keep Louisville weird and you're supposed to have your income based off of local and everything else, you shouldn't have to do a Kickstarter. Yeah, and so I think I think the concern's a little overblown personally. But yeah. Hey, so uh, 
he has reached four thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars, uh-huh. which isn't bad. And I look at the rewards that are offered. Right. Like the very top one is five thousand or more. Right. And they will and you get a full swag pack. They're and they talk about that earlier. Right. A free punk platter card, so you get a free platter. Okay. And you get an invitation for four to their their exclusive Kickstarter party with complimentary food and drinks. Okay. And they will close the restaurant for a private party for you and your fifty guests. So that's for five thousand or more. That's a very top level. But okay. I mean, there are other things. If you like, I don't know. I mean, so if you like Taco Puck a ton and you want to give money to them, you know. Right, right. And and the thing is that I mean, people complain that the tacos aren't that great. You know, they they I pretty much good. They, 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 I didn't mind them. Um, I like the corn. The um, tortillas, they called them paper mache yeah. tortillas. <laughs> they did. They were coming down on their tortillas. It was just crazy how, how, you know, it, 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 just, it was just crazy how, I'm telling you, the drama going on in Louisville around food places has just been Our hipsters awesome. are crazy. They are, they are, ugh. They did get we off ever, in arms. Did we ever talk to anyone about? Did we, did we ever mention um, about um, Lynn's Paradise yes. closing? Okay. Yes. Okay. So so yeah. That was a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Okay. I was making sure. So yeah. So uh, that's the food. All right. Food. Food's been good. At Valentine's. Odds and ends. You helping Johnny Feisty? Say. I was. We have some birthdays. Oh, guess what? We don't have guests. No, we have no guests. So I can do this right here. Yeah. Here we, we go. We can start our lovely. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. So we have birthdays. Oh yeah. We missed this last birthday because I don't have her on my social. I guess I don't, I don't have her on Facebook, so I didn't know. Oh, okay. Miss, Mrs. Birthday was last Tuesday. Oh, but I told you it was her birthday. Yes. Last and week. Yes, and I wished her a happy birthday, but I didn't know it was coming. Right. So we didn't tell her last Monday. Right. So happy belated birthday, Ms. You are one of our favorite peeps. Happy birthday, Ms. See you at Dragon Con. Yep, yep. And, uh, and on someone Wednesday, close to you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, on Tuesday. It's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Valentine. Happy hi. Birthday, hi. Dad. I said hi first. Hi. Yep, she said hi first. And then on <laughs> Wednesday, there's two awesome birthdays. There is Jeff, um, that we ran, Ziegler. that Ziegler, or um, Sully. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. Yep. And then um, also, the Zone Comic Shop is their 20th year anniversary. So we're gonna stop by there on Wednesday. That's uh, twenty years. Twenty years that okay, the zone so, has been going. Yeah, so he's going from the original owners, but. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but it's yeah, that's, yep. that's pretty awesome. And then on Thursday, um, I want to say hello to Sandy Dinger, Bill's wife. Hi. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Sandy. And there's one that I know he would rather have Renee read it than I read it. So whose birthday? Who else's birthday is on Thursday? Christopher Dunn's birthday, a.k.a. Malinor. You said, you said it was too loud? Yeah, I, well, I, I didn't say it. I was being... I, I thought you I was trying was, to twist my boob or something. I, I probably shouldn't have said his real name. But oh, Malinor? Yeah. It's Malinor's birthday on Thursday. Because sometimes people might not want their real names out there. Yeah. Maybe you should bleep that. I don't know. Or I can ask him if it's okay. Anyway. Somebody calling you. Is that your mom? It's Kimberly. Oh. We, we told her after 8.30, but apparently she doesn't listen. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, So, yeah. So, the, the, those are our birthdays. We don't have any other odds and ends. Yep. I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Yep. And then um, we don't have a podcast of the week. No. This week. Um, There's some podcasts that I'll probably have for next week because oh, I yeah. put some new ones on my um feed. So. You did? Uh-huh. All right. But if you want to tell us how much you think Jay is going to love Deep Impact more than Armageddon, you can reach us by email at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. You can also see our blog at valentinecast.com. If you want to tweet us, ask us a question, our Twitter feed is valentinecast. And 
you can call us. Call us. You can call us at 415-75-VCAST. That's 415-758-2278. Video can be seen at YouTube.com slash ValentineCast. That is YouTube.com slash Valentine Class. Cast. <laughs> Valentine Class. Yeah, Valentine Class. That's it's, coming up soon. And, and, and it's almost our day. Yep. Um, my Twitter feed, you can find it at The Cowboy, T H E C A O B O I. And Renee's Twitter feed is The Ice Flow, T H E I C E F L O W. And I just want to say hi to my sister. Hi. I love her. She's the sweetest person. She is. She is amazing. She's awesome. Tell mom we said hi. <laughs> and tell my nieces and nephews I said hi. And um, we just love like you that. guys. <laughs> um, chat room, Tiffany, Hendo, thank you for hanging out with thank us. Thank you. And thank you. Awesome. Thank you listening to this on your podcast, on your pod bearing machines and and thank you jay for for producing the podcast i really appreciate it and thank you renee for doing an awesome job with the notes oh we're a team oh yeah you all have a Keep great y'all have a great week we'll talk to you later all right bye guys bye boom hey yeah <laughs> that's funny <sighs> how about that what is the length on that one? 57 minutes. Wow. They end up being longer than we Our originally long? thought. Look at, look at that. That's because we talked about a whole bunch of crap. What if we played it and nothing played and we lost the whole podcast? Coming to you. All right. What if that happened? Would you be sad if we lost the whole podcast? Um. Why am I so? I'm, t- I'm talking like this, like we're still on. Well, I mean, we still have people in the chat room. Oh, true. So, what would I do if we lost a whole show? Would you be, like, really pissed pissed? Or would you just say, oh, well, and go on? I would be pissed if I could not figure out what the hell happened. Oh, so you'd be more on, like, why did it happen so it can't happen again? Why did it happen so it won't happen again? And then then if it was something, I would really hate to... That's me. um, I would really hate to... uh, Oh, I was just sending you the Kickstarter so you can see the rewards if you want to. Okay. If you wanted to. Um. Okay, so. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, if we did it, I mean, well, actually, we will be recording live, right? Right. So it'll be this feed. So. Um. I would I would figure out a way to pull an MP3 from this. You. Is what you I know, would it would be lower quality. You would still try to do oh, it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It'll be it'll, it'll definitely be lower quality, um, hands down. But I would I would figure out a way to pull it to extract it from. Mm-hmm. So I would convert the flash video over to MP4 and then strip it that way. So it is so it's not much of a chance that they'll both fail. So. Yeah. So I mean, basically, me kicking my PC and it yeah. dying, or the power go out. Yeah. I mean, that's stuff that I've thought about. That, yeah. you know, I can't... You can't control. I can't control, but with audacity, I can't... It does... It would... It would go to memory to come back and it would try to recover. Oh, that's nice. You know, because I've done it before when I was doing the bumper work. When, you know, the power went out when I was doing the bumper work. <laughs> that's funny. And when it came back, those were there, so for the most part, so... But, yeah, um... Thanks, Hando and Tiffany, hey, for coming out. Fox Lore is in here. With oh, he is he? here? He, yeah, he probably just got here. No, I saw him pop in, but oh. I didn't see him in the. Then he went out of the list. It says he's in the list. So I don't know. It says, says, so. says for viewing is what I'm getting. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, well no. no. We're There's two. Five. Tiffany and Hando. Maybe it's not. Maybe mine's crapping out. I don't know. Oh, I gotta go pee. I have to go pee too. Um. So thank you all for coming out and seeing. Thanks, us. guys. Um, Y'all are awesome. We. I think I'm learning a lesson not to drink. Um. Well, coffee I, during the show. I drink two drinks during the show. Yep. So, but but I managed to make it out unscathed. I didn't pee myself in the oh, middle of the show. Oh, about halfway through, I had to. <laughs> so, 
I almost going to tell you to keep talking. I was going to go. Hey, uh, I, I, I would have. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to go. Um, show will be up soon. <laughs> Literally. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for coming out and seeing us. Thanks, guys. Right. Bye. Bye.